Welcome to Artist Corner. Uh, today we're going to be drawing Wonder Woman. Uh, this is in celebration of the Wonder Woman movie that's uh, being released uh, at the time of the release of this video. It's coming out uh, this week. So I'm really excited for Wonder Woman. I'm hoping that this is going to be DC's big redemption when it comes to their movies. I, I don't think they've had a truly good movie since uh, The Dark Knight Rises. So uh, hoping that Wonder Woman is the one that's going to be like the rebirth of the DC universe and that one and that Justice League is going to be good too but you know I'm really excited about it so uh, I'm drawing the classic Wonder Woman here and uh, I did pull the likenesses of uh, Linda Carter uh, for this drawing I, I, I have a reference uh, what is hard about drawing her though is that she's got a very long neck and because of that it kind of I don't know she kind of looked like her head's a little bit too big which was kind of hard the drawing came out pretty good though, but just the proportions uh, were very hard to do. Um, this Lin There's two people I, I tend to have a problem drawing. It's Linda Carter and Marilyn Monroe. They're very hard to draw. For some reason, their faces in a way, it, you know, they're not they're not the easiest people to draw. But um, that being said, I, I do think this drawing came out okay. Uh, I love drawing Wonder Woman. Uh, she's a uh, it's a great character to draw, and uh, I did a uh, older drawing that had the Gal Gadot's uh, likenesses. I also got to draw her in the uh, the Batman v Superman drawing that I did. It's also up on this channel, and I did a watercolor picture of uh, the Gal Gadot Wonder Woman. But for now, I just wanted to do the classic Wonder Woman. I thought that that would be a good drawing to do for this week. Um, I am also going to be reviewing the uh, animated DC animated Wonder Woman movie up on my D3 Media channel, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, I was going to have that up before I review Wonder Woman. So I have not really read much of uh, DC's uh, Rebirth Wonder Woman, uh, although I did pick up a couple comics. I just haven't had a chance to read them yet, so I will be reading and hopefully reviewing those soon. And one thing you got to nail about Wonder Woman is the hair. She has got amazing, huge, flowing hair. So if you got to practice drawing hair, Wonder Woman's a great character to practice on because she has some of the best hair in comics. <laughs> I'm not doing too much cross-hatching or anything like that with this drawing because I want her to look even though she is a warrior and everything she still is a, you know a beautiful character and I, I don't want to make her look too messy or muddy or anything like that or you know gritty so I, I try to tone back the cross hatching as much as I could except on some of her costume just because I want to make her look you know you want to make her look as beautiful as possible because with women when you're drawing them the less lines the better Now I'm experimenting in different ways that I can blend Copic markers. I want to get more of a blended, seamless look to them instead of, you know, hard lines. So I might have to start buying some other Copic markers that are, like, in between the other Copic markers. So there's, like, you know, because I have some that, you know, jump from a lighter color. And instead of, you know, a color in between that to, you know, kind of fade it down, I have another color that just kind of jumps right down to a darker color because I bought a set. So I'm going to look into maybe purchasing some other Copic markers. With that being said though, I thought the coloring came out pretty good. Except for this one spot that got on the yellow part of her costume. That, that's bothersome. And I did the same thing with this drawing that I did with the Colossus drawing with her metal emblem on her suit. I just went and I, uh, I uh, did uh, some cross hatching on the edges to make it look like it's uh, so, you know a reflective metal material. Same thing on her uh, tiara or tiara, whatever it's called. And then I'm just doing a nice you know background, something almost like what you see in the posters for the movies.
And here's my finished Wonder Woman drawing. Like I said, the uh, head proportions kind of came out strange. Uh, I, so I need to fix that. But otherwise, it's okay. I'm not as happy with this one as I am with some of my other drawings. So I'll just have to keep practicing with drawing the Linda Carter version of Wonder Woman. Gail Gadot seems to be a little bit easier to draw. Uh, but with that being said, this will be up for sale up on my website. As well as any of my other artwork or ordering commissions. The link to my website is in the description below. Also, be sure to check out my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all my social media accounts. All of the links are in the description below. I want to say thanks for watching. And if you like what you see, go ahead and hit like and subscribe. And uh, happy drawing, everybody. Take care.